organisms are found everywhere in the environment and plays a very important role in countless natural processes. Like in the aquatic environment, the role of microbes in aquatic ecosystem is to capture the sun's energy through photosynthesis. The marine microbes play a very important role in the earth system, which they influence our climate and the major primary producers in the ocean, which it dictate much of the flow of marine energy and nutrient and to provide us with the source of medicines and natural products. In aquatic ecosystem, the lakes play an important habitat for most microorganisms. Lake microorganisms participate in various biogeochemical cycles, such as decomposing organic material into nutrients as food for other organisms and control the quality in lakes. The microorganisms also play an important food and nutrient sources for other organisms present in the aquatic ecosystem, such as protozoa. Thus, the absence of aquatic microorganisms simply defined that the food chain system may be disturbed greatly and ecosystem imbalance may occur, and eventually it can affect the existence of biotic and a biotic system associated with it and according to madzen the lake is a site of tremendous microbial activity and the microorganism which play an important role on nutritional chains as well as maintaining the biological balance aquatic ecosystems perform many important environmental functions such as for example they recycle nutrients purify water attenuate floods recharge groundwater, and provide habitats for wildlife. Some bacteria serve as food for marine organisms, make nutrients available to other organisms by breaking down waste and dead matter, or may destroy specific toxic chemicals found in ocean water. In lakes and streams, plants and also certain microbes conduct photosynthesis to harvest the sun's energy and the microbial photosynthesizers include protists known as algae and cyanobacteria and the composter form an especially important part of freshwater ecosystems it is because they consume dead bodies of plants animals and other microbes the thus microbial agents of decay are an important part of the ecosystem because they convert detritus an organic material into needed nutrient such as nitrate phosphate and sulfate decomposers and other microbes are thus essential to the major biogeochemical cycles by which nutrients are exchanged between the various parts of the ecosystem both living and non-living thus without microbial decomposers Minerals and nutrients is critical to plant and animals. Growth would not be made available to support their needed nutrient. The importance of microbes in aquatic ecosystem. As what I've said earlier, microorganisms and their activities are vitally important to virtually all processes on Earth. Microorganisms matter because they affect every aspect of our lives. They are in us, on us, and around us. Microbiology is the study of all living organisms that are too small to be visible with the naked eye. This include bacteria, archaea, viruses, fungi, prions, protozoa, and algae, collectively known as microbes. And these microbes play care roles in nutrient cycling, biodegradation, biodeterioration, climate change, food spoilage, the costs and control of disease, and biotechnology. Thanks to their versatility, microbes can be put to work in many ways, making life, saving drugs, the ma manufacture of biofuels, cleaning up pollution, and producing processing, food, and...
Importance of microbes in terrestrial ecology or in land area. In soil, there are lots of microorganisms such as bacteria, actinomycetes, fungi, algae, protozoa, and viruses. Bacteria plays a very important role in the fertility of soil because they are decomposers eating dead plant material and organic waste. By doing this, the bacteria release nutrients that other organisms could not access. The bacteria do this by changing the nutrients from inaccessible to usable forms. And also, actinomycetes is also a very important microbe since they have also been the source of several significant therapeutic medicine. Next microorganism is the fungi, which are very helpful because they have the ability to break down nutrients that other organisms cannot. The fungi help the plant by giving it needed nutrient and the fungi get carbohydrates from the plants, the same food that plants give to humans. Some of the functions performed in soil by fungi are first decomposed like saprophytic fungi which they convert dead organic material into fungal biomass, carbon dioxide, small molecules such as organic acid. Second is demutilized, like the mycorrhizal fungi which colonize plant roots. Mycorrhizal fungi help to make phosphorus soluble and bring soil nutrient. Third is parasite. The third group of fungi pathogens or parasites causes reduced production or death when they colonize roots and other organisms. Next microorganisms is the algae which are present in most of the soil value, moisture, and sunlight are available. They are capable of photosynthesis, whereby they are obtained carbon dioxide from atmosphere and energy from sunlight and synthesize their own food. Synthesize their own food. The major rules and functions of algae in soil are, first, they are playing an important role in the maintenance of soil fertility. They are helpful in adding organic matter to soil when they die and thus increasing the amount of organic carbon in soil. Algae also act as a cementing agent by binding soil particles and thereby reducing and preventing soil erosion. The next microorganism is the protozoa. The rules and functions of most protozoan derive their nutrition from feeding or ingesting soil bacteria and thus they play an important role in maintaining microbial bacterial equilibrium in the soil. Some protozoa have been recently used as biological control agent against organisms that cause harmful diseases in plants. Next microorganism is the viruses. Soil viruses are of great importance as they may influence the ecology of soil biological communities through both an ability to transfer genes from host to host and as a potential cause of microbial mortality. Thus, microorganisms play an essential role in decomposing organic matter, recycling nutrient, and fertilizing the soil. Therefore, without the cycling of elements, the continuation of life on Earth would be impossible. So, starting today, we should learn to appreciate the small living microorganism because they have a big contribution in our existing world today. Now, here's the question. Can we live without microbes? Based from the discussion without microbial life, life would no longer be possible. Why? It is because we itself is full of microbial cells in our body, which help us digest food and boost our immune system. Without microbes, how can plant and animals survive, or even as human? 
That is why it is very important to study the microorganism which will learn to appreciate the micro-living organism in us, on us, and around us, which included in every biochemical process on the planet.